Now, I've been teaching baseball for an extremely long time. I have been in the cages with thousands of hitters, and over all the years, there's one really cool thing that I wanted to share with you guys today, and that is the magic spot of the load. And what I'm talking about is I'll be in the cage with a hitter, and they may be struggling a little bit, and I will actually take their hands, and we'll be working on the load, and put it in, into the magic spot, and from there, literally every swing has the best chance of hitting it good. They hit maybe eight, nine out of 10 good every single time because they're in the right spot. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can find your magic spot in the load to start giving yourself the best chance to deliver the ball, to deliver the bat to the ball with the most amount of speed, with the greatest amount of accuracy of hitting that sweet spot every single time. Let's go ahead and get started. Guys, we got a ton of great content coming out this year, and if you don't wanna miss out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's the only way you can get notified. Also, hit that thumbs up button. That really helps us grow the channel. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. So we would love to hear from you. All right, guys. So this is a relatively simple video in terms of what we're trying to do here. The biggest thing we're going we're, we're gonna to need to do is obviously we'd like to start this off on the tee so we can actually put our hands in the position we want them in. And that is we need to make sure that our tee is set up in the right position. So if you know from the Pro Speed hitting system, we have a perfect tee setup video shows you how to set up for a tee. But for this drill, I want you guys to just make sure you have a couple things uh, just from face on and down the line. I need you to make sure that the T is in front of your stride foot. That means when you make your stride, the T is in front of your foot. It's not behind your foot or in line with your foot. It's in front of your foot. Now, from the down the line view, this is extremely important. We also have the down the line contact ch checkpoints that we need to hit. And that is we are covering the ball with the sweet spot of the bat and then we can easily see both hands from the down the line view. If we are hitting the ball with the sweet spot of the bat, but our hands are hidden, that, that tee is way too close to us. We need to move it further away so that we can get that bat to be able to release where we want it to. So if we can make sure we have those tee positions and now we can start working on the magic spot of the load. So in the pro speed hitting system, we talk about the speed load checkpoints. We need to make sure that the hands are behind the shoulder from the face on view so they get behind the shoulder. We also need to make sure that our hands are at a good height, meaning we don't want them too high, we don't want them too low. You know, so just for a relative position, it can be a little higher, a little lower, but where you would throw a punch from is gonna be very close to where we wanna have our load. Now, the magic spot is done from the down the line view. When you guys are at home and you're trying to find that magic position that's gonna allow you to get in the right spot every time, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that spot is in front of the vertical toe line. This is the third checkpoint in the pro speed hitting system speed load section, where if we draw an imaginary line out directly off of our back toe, straight up out of the ground, we wanna make sure both hands are in front of that vertical toe line. We also wanna make sure they go to the ball from in front of the toe line and they never go behind the line. The magic spot, guys, is in front of the toe line. And now this is how we find it. We just simply have to put our hands in a position and we're gonna change this around and you guys are gonna to have to pay attention to this when you're at home because I'm not gonna be there to move your hands around. You're going to be feeling around different spots and you're gonna be making swings and guys, when you find that magic position, it's going to work. It, it will definitely, if you get, if you have your tee set up properly and it's a good distance in front of you and away from you and you get in the right spot, you are going to start stroking this ball off the tee because the hands are gonna be in too good of a position for anything to go wrong. Now, obviously, if we're doing something weird with our foot or we're trying to step and hit or do something weird, something might go off. So if we can follow the load stride swing drill parameters uh, from the pro speed hitting system, that would be perfect for this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get into our load stride. And guys, all I'm doing is I'm just gonna get into a load stride, make sure my hands in front of the toe line, and then I'm gonna make a swing. Now, let's just say that one didn't feel that good. Now what I'm gonna do is just simply get another ball and I'm going to play around with this. Now I'm gonna load stride. Okay, this is where I normally feel like I am. Maybe I'm gonna drop my hands a little bit. Now I'm gonna to try to swing from here. Okay, that one felt pretty good. So what I'm gonna to try to do now is get in that same exact position. And again, I am just searching for my magic spot. So I'm gonna load stride. This is where I normally get. I'm gonna let my hands drop a little bit. Okay, there's two in a row. Pretty darn good. Now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna to try to get into a different position. So let me go ahead and load stride. Okay, so this is where I've hit the last two pretty good. Well, let me drop them a little bit lower. Okay, that one I hit pretty good, but it didn't feel very good. So maybe it's not a little bit lower. Now I'm gonna just keep kind of playing around with this. Load stride. Okay, I'm gonna drop my hands a little bit. 
Okay, now I might move them a little bit further away from me. Uh, you know, hit it good, but did, still didn't feel very powerful. So let's go ahead and try out another one. So we're going to load stride. And let's say I'm going to let my hands go back a little bit further and maybe a little bit further down. Okay, so that one fell a little faster. So you guys see what we're doing here is we're simply going to be moving around our hands till we find a spot that we can associate with that's going to allow us to hit the ball good every time. So I'm gonna load stride here again. So right now, my magic spot is, feels like it's just a little bit lower, maybe right around in here. And every single time I get into that position, I feel like I have a great chance to deliver the bat into the ball. Guys, it's just a little bit of a trial and error, but if you know there's a magic spot somewhere and you're constantly seeking for it, you might, let's just say you might get into, let's say this is your load area, you might get into an area this big the first day. Then the next area, you might get in a little bit smaller area where you, you're starting to narrow it down, then a little bit smaller area. And over time, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that spot that you're gonna be in on the tee where you can get to the ball every single time and it feels great. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that same load stride swing drill in the front toss and side toss. You're gonna to get in your load stride position and you're gonna get into that same exact loaded position you were in and you're gonna make some swings from there. Guys, if you get it on the tee to where you're hitting eight, nine, ten, eight or nine out of 10, good off the tee from that magic spot and then you take it into front toss, side toss and you can still execute it from the same position, it's a, just a light years, you're gonna give you light years ahead of where you would be if you're just going out there hitting from a different spot every single day. So guys, get out there, find your magic spot in front of the vertical toe line. Make sure you're hitting the, the, the speed load parameters is it, so that you're not getting off with your ent entire mechanics. Just make sure the hands are far enough back in front of the toe line and it's just gonna be a huge, huge impact on your game. Now I've got an even better bonus for you. I'm gonna play a preview of one of our premium membership website videos that's gonna directly relate to how we wanna get our hands going to the ball from this magic spot. We're gonna play one of our best release videos and if you, if you tie in together the magic spot with the release drill, not only are you gonna be in a great spot, you're also gonna start learning how to get in sync with your actual through swing just by setting up this drill correctly. But I'd recommend getting that magic spot in a good spot and then trying out this drill. Now guys, you can get instant access to that by clicking on the iCard or the link in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. These are all symptoms to improper sequencing in the swing and not getting the right amount of extension at the right time or where we want to make contact with the ball in relationship to where we want to be extended after contact. And that's the key one. We do want to be extended after contact. That, the, just before full release is when we're going to get maximum velocity on that object. So in a baseball swing, so if we go into contact and we make contact and then we have full release, then we're going to be maximizing our speed into the ball. So that all you have to do is set up the drill properly, make swings, and you're going to start syncing up your swing right away. And that's exactly what this drill is going to do. It's going to help us learn the proper motions to hit the ball correctly. So if I put a digital T here where we'd want to make contact with the ball, ideally when we're practicing off the tee or we're hitting in the game, we're going to load stride here. You're going to see me get into contact here. And then if I'm still swinging out to this ball in front of me, 